The 93rd Annual Academy Awards is less than six weeks away, and after nominations were announced, the Oscars' anticipation and excitement seems greater than ever. Joining us now is film critic Tom Santilli, co-host and executive producer of The Movie Show Plus, is here, and he's here to talk about some of the biggest stories coming out of the upcoming award show. Good morning, Tom. Thanks for being here. Hey, Jen. Great to talk to you. Because of the pandemic, it might be that people are watching movies more now than they ever had before. I know that's what we were talking about during the break. The Academy sure. Award nominations, they were announced early this past week. And there, as always, there's some big snubs, there's surprises. What stuck out yeah. to you most? Well, I think uh, for everybody, you know, every year there's actors, directors, films that get left off or that just make it in. But this year, the big one was The Five Bloods, which is the Spike Lee film uh, about the African-American experience in Vietnam. Uh, it was it won a lot of awards. The Detroit Film Critics Society, which I'm a part of, uh, gave Delroy Lindo the best actor award for our group and he didn't uh he failed to get nominated here so delroy lindo was a snub spike lee was a snub for director and then the film itself only landed one nomination for best score so it really underperformed and that was really the big snub news that one bummed me out too because i did see that on netflix and i thought they did a really yeah. great job on that the nominations yeah. also made history in several ways this year i know i hope you're talking about female directors but tell us about some of the ways that <laughs> it did make history Absolutely. So yeah, as you mentioned, female directors, uh, this is this is still we have a long way to go. Let's start by saying that. But this is the first time that the Academy has nominated uh, more than one female director in the category this year. You, of course, have Chloe Zhao, uh, who uh, directed Nomadland, which is a beautiful film. Uh, and then you have Emerald Fennell from Promising Young Woman. Both are phenomenal films. But yeah, uh, then you have our own uh, Michigan native, uh, Stephen Yun, and that is the way to pronounce it, by the way. Stephen Yun uh, is the star of Minari. He's the first Asian American uh, ever to be nominated uh, in the Best Actor category, uh, as is Riz Ahmed, the first Muslim actor ever to be nominated uh, for his performance in uh, Sound of Metal. That's for Best Actor. Uh, then you also, you know, people get tired of hearing about Anthony Hopkins all the time or Meryl Streep or these famous actors, but uh, Anthony Hopkins is fantastic in The Father, and he was nominated uh, at the age of 83, making him the oldest acting nominee of all time. Uh, women in general, though, dominated. There's 75 total women uh, nominated. That's a record for the Oscars. Uh, still a long way to go, but those were just some of the headlines that came out of the nominations. Absolutely. Now, the Academy Awards ceremony itself was delayed due this year yeah. due to the pandemic. But what can viewers expect when the show finally does air? It's a big mystery and people are wondering. But what we do know is that uh, the directors of the, this year's show, uh, by the way, it's on ABC. It's uh, Sunday, uh, April 25th. I'll be back before then to give some picks and things like that. But uh, the, the directors of the show sent out to all the guests that there will not be any kind of Zoom element to the show. So they are expecting people to be there in person. They're going to treat it like a movie set. They think they can do it safely. Uh, but, you know, if you watch the Golden Globes or the Critics' Choice Awards or any of these other shows, you've seen uh, people at their homes, you know, on Zoom. Uh, that is not going to be part of the Oscars this year. They haven't announced a host. Of course, the show has been hostless the last two years, so there might not be a host at all. Uh, but it will be interesting to see kind of how they try to make themselves different and stick out. A lot still up in the air and a lot to look forward to. Tom, thanks so much for joining us. And you can check out a full list of the nominees on our website, WXYZ.com. And don't forget, the Academy Awards are right here on Channel 7. They're Sunday, April 25th.